Your man is not going to like certain stuff that you're doing. And you can't come into this with a whole attitude, feeling arrogant and feeling so prideful. And like, this is how it's going to go. Because I'm telling you guys, realistically, the world that we live in, the men that you will get with, a real relationship, you guys are going to have to change some stuff. And you're not going to like it, but they're going to do the exact same for you if you're with a real man. What I do, what is up, my B-Boss baddies and my bad money fellas. It is your girl, Bosana, and welcome, B-Boss Army. So as I asked to tell by the title, today we're going to be talking about five mistakes single women make, okay? When it comes down to, you know, the whole single life and what they need to figure out, what they need to get in check first. So today we have a sponsor, and it's by Digital Hustler. If you want your credit fixed, you need help with your credit, credit repair, make sure you check them out. The ad, his little campaign poster, everything that you need to know is right there. So check it out. And his ad for his Instagram is right there as well. So make sure you hit him up, DM him. And he also has a website. And go ahead, do that right after this video, okay? So you guys, this is kind of new to my channel. You guys know I do advices for men. But maybe soon or maybe starting now and I'll continue is um, talking about women's you know just woman like not giving you the whole opinion this is how the woman feels about you but more so what women need to work on themselves although men is watching i feel like i do have a good amount still of women watching and it'll be beneficial both ways okay if you guys already know the routine make sure you check out my patreon i have a video going up today make sure you check out my second youtube channel and of course make sure you check out my other social media and so let's actually get into it so you guys already know we start from five go down to one so that means what you gotta watch until the end to get the number one thing number five on my list is wanting love more because of what she sees a lot of single women out here truthfully truthfully they will go on social media they will see couples outside they will see their best friend they will see everything that has to do with being in a relationship oh that's so cute oh you know i wish i was in that boat oh i wish i had a good man now it's okay looking at something and saying that's cute. It's okay saying, oh, that's nice. But what the problem is when it comes down to women that are single is that they're looking at that. They want it because they see somebody else has it. It's not because genuinely they want it or they need it for themselves. It's really because Talisha has that going on and Ashley and Denise. They all are happy. They're all in a committed relationship. Although they got problems in their relationship and it seemed a little toxic, they still look like a cute couple. And it's so much about everybody else and what they're doing, how they look, and it goes right back to the public eye. People are so focused on an image that everybody's looking on and wanting them to be like them. They want people to look at that person and say, well, it would be nice to be in their situation. And it goes right back to just the naturalness of people wanting to compete. Like it's in the human nature. A lot of people don't even realize it day to day that they're competing. They're comparing themselves to other people. And that's where a lot of self-doubt and self-discipline needs to come in. Because if you learn what you are and how much you should be offering in this world and you already offer this much you don't need to do more and have such high expectations on yourself then it wouldn't be such a problem for a lot of people to look at a couple and say oh that's nice that's lovely to see when it's my time it'll happen but in the meantime this is what i'm doing and i'm going to talk more about this as i go along but this is the key word that you guys need to remember in the meantime. They're so focused on right now, this is how I want it to be, this is how it should be. And it's not like, oh, five years, possibly that could happen. Ten years, if it happens, it happens. That's not how girls are looking at it. Women are not looking at it that way. They're so stuck on pleasing anybody's eyes that are watching them. They are so focused on being like the other people that are in a happy relationship. And lastly, before I move on to the next thing, it's the whole following. You know, it's very easy to be wanting to be part of a hype. But I think a lot of women out here need to understand what we see on social media, what we see from other people is still an illusion. Just because it's in front of our eyes, everything is still an illusion. Because like I said in the past, you guys don't know what people are really going through in their relationship. You guys don't know how a lot of women are unhappy in their relationship and have controlling boyfriends and are miserable. You guys are just looking at what's in front 
and not what's behind the screen and you guys don't have access to that because they're only showing you what's in front and what's going on behind all of that it's a bunch of chaos everything is a distraction and an illusion if you are so invested on everything that's out here guess what what are you really doing for yourself you're just taking yourself way further away from yourself and that's not what you need because if you're really about your goals and reaching success and reaching everything that you've been saying and trying to check off everything that you wrote on your checklist you're not going to be able to do that if you're just focused on the rest so the next thing on my list is number four and this is ignoring all the factors that come with it so back to you guys seeing everything that's happening what's in the front view you guys are really seeing a lot relationships come with so much problems we all have issues we're all human we're all not perfect of course right us females we already have our own issues being emotional whether you say you're not emotional that's in our characteristics that's part of our woman nature there's a lot of things that come with the woman nature and even me being who i am i still see it although i keep working on myself and trying to improve myself to be the best i can there's still a lot of issues that I still have. And that's every single person out here. There's nobody out here that can tell me that they're perfect. No, you can't tell me that because there's still flaws in each of us, every single person. Females are looking so much and so obsessed with the whole idea of being a cute couple, being so lovely, looking, you know, so glamorous. Oh, my man bought me this. Oh, I got a Birkin bag. Oh, I got the biggest ring. And they're so invested in all this image. When it comes down to actually being in a relationship, being committed to your man, not talking to your ex, not linking your ex, not dressing like a thought, not looking like a hoe. And I'm not saying this is all incorrect stuff, but I'm just saying this is stuff that men are expecting in a relationship, right? This is just how it is. And all these stuff, these are criteria that um, men are looking and looking at a female saying, okay, well, can I check this off? How many checks can I give her? How many ex is she getting? And a lot of girls are getting so many X out here. Some of these stuff are so basic. So much has been going on where women are getting taken away from themselves and being a real woman and all these that they don't even know what they should be doing as a woman anymore. And I'm not saying this is a book and this is how you need to follow it. No. Like a lot of men out here hate the fact that my nails are this long. A lot of girls are talking about how do you have long nails like that? That's just factors out here. This is something that I like, right? Sometimes if I want to get it short, I'm going to get it short. It just goes back to the basic things that you have to consider when you are with a man. Your man is not going to like certain stuff that you're doing. And you can't come into this with a whole attitude, feeling arrogant and feeling so prideful. And like, this is how it's going to go. Because I'm telling you guys, realistically, the world that we live in, the men that you will get with, a real relationship, you guys are going to have to change some stuff. And you're not going to like it, but they're going to do the exact same for you if you're with a real man and you're expected to do the exact same, of course. Girls, women, ladies, we're all individuals, but if you want to be a part of a man's life, you have to consider his life, his opinion, his thoughts. And that's going to cause a lot of issues in your relationship. But it doesn't mean it's going to always happen. It doesn't mean that you have a horrible relationship. It means that you guys have to learn how to work things out, work through things like that. And, you know, it's like it's not easy. And that's why I said they're ignoring all the factors because they're too caught up on the image and invested on how they're going to look and not what it really takes. And that's the last thing I'll say about this number. That's a that's like somebody trying to go to a gym and yet they don't show themselves at all, but they show the the food that they bought. They show the gym every single time, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. And then one day somehow a picture slips up where they, you guys see their weight and they have no progress. They're even bigger than what they were before. And it's like that you never would have seen if they never put a picture out. The illusion is real because all you're seeing is what they're eating and them putting in the work going to the gym. That's what's happening. So because of that, you don't really know what's really happening. And it's like, that's how it is with people's life and relationship and females looking at other women. You guys don't want to go to the gym and actually work out. And this is just giving an example. You don't want to do that, but you're willing to put the fruits up, the gym that you're going to, how you're going to do it. You're willing to do all that. And that's just a loud talking. But for you to actually get up and actually put in the work every, every day, when it comes down to a relationship, you're not willing to do it. Because one thing I'll say, lastly, I'm sorry, you guys, I always have so much to say. But lastly, 
I feel like a lot of women have to give up things, more things than a man. And it's very true. Like a lot of girls have to give up a lot more because it's so easy for women to be looked at as, you know, just a snack. Looked at as something I just want to hit and run. And women don't want to realize that. Women don't want to realize that they look like a sex appeal. They have a sex appeal. And that's how it is with a lot of women. So it's like there's a lot more that I feel like women have to change and already because of what we have in our nature we have to change but when it comes down to commitment girls don't realize none of that and they're so caught up on the whole image so when they get into a relationship it's like okay well i'm not gonna change that i don't care there's gonna be men that accept that but i won't be surprised long term when you guys are talking about i hate it or i hate the relationship or you're unhappy right so yeah next thing on my list is relying on men so i'm gonna actually make this video shorter i have two more things but i decided that this is gonna be way too long i'm surprised i have so much to say because although i have a lot to talk about i normally know how to minimize things but in this case i really can't so this is the last topic and then the next we'll do in a continuation if you guys want to see a part two of course okay so as I said, number three is relying on men, and this is brackets, weak independent skills. Okay, look, hypergamy is a real thing out here. Although I shared my opinion and I disagreed on a lot of things, hypergamy is common. It happens. A lot of girls really just date men because they're up, their status, they're getting money, and you know, they just date up. It goes right back to the independent skills are so weak because a lot of girls just want to rely on a man and they feel like they should absolutely be taken care of they're looking for a man that's completely the provider and they don't have to provide anything they don't have to bring anything to the table they're expecting so much they want this man to do this this is how we should do it they want perfect men out here but damn well they're nothing close to perfect nothing close to perfect that independent skill you taking care of yourself what if that man walks out what are you gonna do then you're gonna beg for some money so he can still have you taken care of now that he's not with you no you guys have to become stronger as a woman you have to become independent i'm not talking about feminism i'm talking about being independent about your bag you know getting to the bread that's what i'm talking about and a lot of girls take that and say it's okay still i could be in my bag but he has to be making more money than me and he has to take care of me the single ones that can't find a man you guys are out here expecting way too much and wanting a man to just take care of you take care of you guys so relying on a man rely on yourself at least rely on yourself first and then allow a man to be a part of your life okay you guys so i hope this video helped out whoever is watching and like i said sorry i couldn't do all of the advices but this video is already long enough so i will be doing a part two i just don't know when but if you guys let me know when and give me a big thumbs up i will have that out push right away and so you guys already know make sure you check out my patreon my second channel and of course my other social media and you guys will see me in my next video bye guys